Hey, what's up guys? Uh, thank you very much for being an electrical. I really appreciate that. Now, I want us to learn a few things about this engine here behind us. Uh, most people have these engines, have generators, they interact with them um, almost all the time. But you'll find that people are struggling with, uh, you know, with the problems associated with these engines. So if you know some one, two, three, uh, you know, stuffs and basics about these engines, then you can, you will not have a problem uh, when an engine like that uh, gets a fault, okay? Now, this is what we are going to do. I have a 15 kVA generator here and uh, let us know uh, problems that associates with this engine and how you can tackle them. Now, let me tell you one thing. Uh, this engine, if you've given it uh, everything that it wants in terms of service, in terms of kits, uh, in terms of fuel, oil, you find that it can pretty keep quiet and then it will start every time you require it to start. Okay. Now, how do you keep your engine healthy and it can always start whenever you need it to start, especially remotely. Okay. Now, take an example for instance, uh, in the in the BTS. Okay, these sites where you find these engines. So if this engine is somewhere up the hill in the woods, okay, and then it keeps you calling you maybe at two a.m. Eh? But now you have to run and then you know go check on it. If you give it everything it wants, this guy here will not call. So let us see uh, how you can keep your engine uh, healthy, running, and uh, in good good condition okay first thing you have to know your engine okay you know very much well this is a diesel engine which burns fuel mixed up with air for it to be able to run okay so there are things which you have to look at visibly with your eyes eh? to make sure that they are in good order for the engine to be healthy and perfect okay okay let us look at some of the things one does your engine has fuel yes definitely it has okay how often do you call out service okay how often do you call out service and why do you, do you call out service Okay, you call out service when it's due. Uh, the time when you, the time when you changed your engine oil and all the filters. Okay, that time usually could be around 250 or 500 hours, depending on the load and also the environment where the generator is operating from. Okay, uh, in the worst environment where the, the environment is dusty, okay, that could go way down, even up to probably 200 hours. Okay, the areas which are maintained the environment, uh, it could be in in the basement down. Okay. Uh, uh, in most cases that could go even up to 500 or 600 you know uh, because it will be you know drawing less dust okay now you don't want this engine to have trouble with you first thing make sure that you change your engine oil at the required time together with all filters okay we have movement parts mechanical parts we have pistons we have tappets around here which are being moved by camshaft okay so you need oil okay with good viscosity so an engine cannot run with the same oil oil for uh, and it runs regularly for the next one year okay that oil will be too light okay so it will literally be like next to water inside the engine so it means that uh, the the moving part in that will start eating up themselves okay which is not nice so change your oil at, at promptly at required time or can be based on manufacturer's requirement okay then you have uh, air filter now you know very much that air filter is very important like i said earlier it burns fuel together mixed up with air okay Okay. So the air that required for this engine, you know, the oxygen required for this engine to be running, it was calculated based on even how much the hair fold, how, how much size is it, and also the air cleaner. So if the air cleaner is too that it means that the amount of air that we're passing through it will be limited. So the power for this engine will be less. So if this, this is a 15 kVA generator at a power factor of maybe 0 0.8, maybe you'll be able to load it up to, you know, 13, uh, 13, uh, uh, or 12 kilowatt and it will run it comfortably but if the air cleaner is clogged definitely it wouldn't be able to do that okay all right so keep your air cleaner clean the other thing also still we say that it burns fuel and air mixed up with air so your fuel if your fuel filter is clogged because you know um fuel because our tanks are not that clean and sometimes you have bigger tanks which uh, are very good cap uh, culprit for condensation so in most cases our fuel is full of you know humid water okay so if you don't have a fuel water separator to help to curb that
that condensation which takes place in your tank then you have to be changing your filters promptly eh? okay but uh, it will be of it will be good for you to install a fuel water separator on this engine so it will help remove all those waters such that only fine fuel goes into the engine if it doesn't and uh, water gets into the engine like i said the power for that engine will reduce and it will not serve you the purpose okay all right now the other thing also is uh, the cooling system now the cooling system you is the radiator okay this engine uh, operates at very high temperature the temperature could go up to around 2000 degrees celsius okay so it, it was you know rated it has given an operating temperature so that those temperature shouldn't go beyond that threshold okay so you need a cooling system here now the cooling system in this engine is water is or it could be water or coolant coolant is better so you have a radiator right here which has water or coolant now there is a mechanical pump on this engine if it's working well it runs as the engine runs okay the engine runs and then it runs that mechanical pump mechanical pump will be pumping will, will be running throughout so it means that it will be you know secreting water to the engine throughout okay now one thing you have to, to know is that your radiator has to be clean if your radiator is clogged because remember as the fan blows the air through uh, the radiator there is a lot of that collects around okay so the radiator clogs right so if it does so it starts limiting the amount of hair that goes through it so it means that the cooling will be limited and if it's limited then that means that the cooling in the engine it will be also limited so the temperature will begin to rise and this engine will always go off because of high temperature so you have to clean your engine pretty well clean it well use uh, a pressure washer and softly wash it clean okay okay there is another thing here there is another guy here called a thermostat now i i did a video about thermostat i'll link it in the description and also up here in the info card now the thermostat what it does uh it's a thermo so it's a valve but it's a, uh, that's why it's called a thermostat because it's a, a valve but it uses the thermo to open and close okay so when this engine is quite hot now that thermo it has an opening temperature so if that temperature reaches it will open and the water will be flow because the pump is mechanical it will keep on a pumping okay so when the thermostat open the water will start saturating if the temperature starts rolling a bit then the thermostat will close again now there are some folks that disconnect uh remove when the engine has high temperature they remove the thermostat of course yes uh, because if you're mostly if you're using water into this engine water especially salt water corrodes okay so the thermostat uh, will corrode and definitely it will mostly it will stack in, in, in the closed position so as the engine runs the pump is pumping the water there will be no circulation of coolant inside the engine so definitely there will be high temperature temperature will rise so you come and remove it but uh thermostat are useful okay in a such that if you remove it completely then without you knowing the engine will lose power okay because uh there will be no regulation the temperature it means that uh this water will be flowing the engine throughout okay but uh, when the thermostat uh it will be always closing it will always i mean the circulation will always be there when it's required okay yeah and also when there's a thermostat the water in the radiator will take time to cool at the required temperature if you remove it the, uh, because that water comes in and goes comes in and goes there will almost be no cooling so the thermostat is required so you keep it there and if it's faulty you fix another one okay uh now the other thing you make sure that uh your charging alternator works perfectly such that it can charge your battery uh you know when the generator is running because this starter motor draws a lot of current so if you really don't uh look at this battery if you don't uh look at if the charge alternator really charges well then um the next attempt for this engine to start probably it will fail and it will call you okay all right then you the other thing also you have to look at your battery this battery most of the battery these days they have um they have an indication here which will uh, show you the status of the electrolyte in here uh such that you can know if your battery is, has begun to be weak it, it never holds charge uh so you can be able to know if it's due for replacement okay now most of these generators that are started automatically you need to know that if it's not running it has a controller which is consuming voltage on this battery so if it doesn't have a, a way of charging when it is in the stop mode definitely the next time you want it's being called to start it will not start it will call you with a fail to start because of the low voltage on this battery so you will need a trickle charger okay you need a trickle charger and this this trickle charger will use the utility power supply to keep the battery afloat okay so that every time your battery is cold there is enough charge for starter motor to draw for it to be able to drive this flywheel and for engine to start okay now that's some of the basics 
uh, on that engine. If you love the, uh, the video, please give me a like. If you have anything you want to know more, go right to the comment section and right there. Then I'll have time to go through your comments and uh, respond. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, I'm out.